Merry, 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 Merry Christmas, Watoto family, wherever you're joining us from, here in Uganda, Juba, South Sudan, or somewhere around the world. We're so delighted that we would get together today and celebrate the birth of Jesus. I know it feels strange that Christmas is on a Monday, but you know what? It is not strange to celebrate Jesus and what a day to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Welcome. Church is a little different today. We're celebrating together with our children and our teenagers. So looking forward to all that God has for us today. My name is Brian and I get to serve as one of the pastors here at Watoto Church. Wonderful. It's such a wonderful, wonderful time of the year, Pastor Brian. My name is Ino Sandekwezi and I serve here in the Discipleship and Equip Stream Ministries. You know, Brian, we start celebrating Christmas in my house it, on the 1st of December. We decorate the whole house and we, we start putting up the tree the whole month of December. The tree is up. Oh, now, <laughs> I always look forward to this final week that leads up to the Christmas day. And, and I'm always excited about what happens here at Watoro Church downtown. This whole week, the week that leads up to Christmas, we have been having the Christmas cantata shows every single day. It's been absolutely packed with people filled with dancing, with joy, with lifting up the name of Jesus, Amen. every bit of the show. I really absolutely enjoyed. I hope that you are able to be a part of the Christmas cantata and you are able to enjoy the show. Pastor Brian, we had throughout the week over 800 people give their hearts to Jesus. It's Amen. been absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. You ought to lift up the name of Jesus and just worship him. It's been fun. I don't know if you were able to be a part of it, but I enjoyed. I, I never cease to be amazed mm -hmm. how you can tell the Christmas story so many different ways. Right. And yet it's still just as special, just as fresh yeah. and just as exciting. Just getting to know that mm -hmm. Jesus came from heaven mm -hmm. to die for our sins. Now, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to this day. Today is Christmas Day and we are celebrating this King who has come to us. King who has come to us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. And if you haven't caught the Christmas cantata uh, yet online or on air, do check our social media platform so that you can get to watch it. It's absolutely amazing and powerful right. message preached by our team leader on this unfailing God that came to us. Now, yes. for some of us, maybe Christmas was a difficult time. Maybe it was a time of loss time of pain i want to encourage you he is god with us emmanuel regardless of the things that we suffer he will never leave us he will never forsake us and we're praying with you and we're praying for you in fact do let us know in the comment section how we can pray with you this christmas trusting god to do something special in your life now recently uh, we just released a christmas song yeah. no one else uh, what a beautiful song reminding us in this season that there is no one else like jesus because you know what Jesus is the reason Amen. for the season. I want us to watch that video together. And after that, we're going to dive into our Christmas celebration service. Let's watch this beautiful song together. Oh, 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 oh,
the song of worship fill this place You're worthy of the highest praise Our Savior and Redeemer You are Emmanuel One day we'll finally see you face to face And feel the warmth of your embrace We'll lay our crowns before you And lift up your heart
Welcome to our celebration service. Come on, rise up to your feet. Rise up to your feet. We're total charge. Come on, here in person. Reach out to five people and say to them, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Wonderful, wonderful. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. Shall we also give a big clap to our church family joining us online and on the air? Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to our celebration service today. What a wonderful, wonderful day today is. Pastor Brian, today the whole world stops to celebrate and to remember that the Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, left his throne in heaven and came down to earth so that he might be able to die for our sins. No wonder the angels announced at his birth that glory to God in the highest. Now today, we want to join heaven and we sing glory and lift up the name of Jesus and magnify his name together. Awesome. And we're going to do it together with our children and teenagers. Come on, let's give him a clap and welcome them as well. It's a family service. So turn to your neighbor, tell him, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. We're going to have an awesome time in church today. And as we get to do that, let's lift up our hands and pray on this Christmas day. Lord, we are so grateful yes. that you sent your son Jesus to us. God with us, Emmanuel. This morning, we join with the whole world and we join with the angels singing glory to God in the highest. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the praise. You are the reason for the season. So today, we're going to worship you with everything we have because you deserve it all. We give you praise and glory. Come on, it's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen. Let's worship the Lord together. Come on, let's sing some carols today. Anyone ready to sing some carols? Come on, are you ready? Or I put your hands together like this. Come on. Let me see those hands. Come on. We sing together Oh come, oh come All ye faithful Joyful and triumphant Oh come ye, oh come ye To Bethlehem Come and behold him Born the King of Angels 
and then you will repeat after us. Are you ready to do that? Come on, are you ready? All right. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Come on, I can't hear you. Oh, come, let us adore Him. All right, together we sing. Oh, come, let us adore Him. We sing Christ. gonna sing a beautiful a beautiful carol called silent night are you ready to sing that with us all right Silent night, holy night, holy sky, holy bright, round your virgin mother and child.
the Son of God, we adore Thee. You're the Son of God. Come on, let's declare it. You are holy. You're the Son of God. We adore Thee. You're the Son. Come on, with our hands lifted high. We declare. You are. You're the Son of God. You are holy and that means there's no one like you. And there will never be anyone like you. We adore you. Come on, can you just express your adoration to Jesus? We adore you, wherever you are. Wherever you are, here in this building, just express your worship to Jesus. Or maybe you're at home. Just express your worship to Jesus, the Son of God. And can we give Him a hand clap of celebrating Him? Come on, let's celebrate Him with a hand clap of praise. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 You can take your seats, please. And we're going to read the story of the birth of Jesus according to how Luke Dr. Luke recorded it. Here we go. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever end, will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left Mary. 
Come on, a better hand clap to Jesus. Hallelujah. We celebrate the King of kings and Lord of lords. So let's rise to our feet again and continue lifting up Jesus. No one else, no one else is like you, Jesus, in no the earth. You're incomparably greater, your Lord of all. There is no one like you, Lord. No one else, no one else is like you, Jesus, in all the earth. You're incomparably greater, your Lord of all. There is no one like you, Lord. Come on with our hands lifted up, we declare. No one else, no one else is like you, Jesus, in all the earth. Your incomparable greater, your Lord of all. There is no one like you, Lord, no one else. the biggest clap of praise there is no one like our God there is no one like you Jesus Lord there is no one like you in all the earth you're incomparably greater 
You're the Lord of all. We give Him glory right now, church. Let's give Him a hand of praise. What an awesome God we serve. You may be seated as we continue to read from Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 18, the Christmas story. The Bible tells us, in those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So, Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign to you, he said. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds say to them. It is time to celebrate one more time, Ototo Church. Will you rise up to your feet and let's sing together, Angels, we have heard on high. Come on, let me see those hands. Come on. Here we go. We see angels. Angels, we have heart and high, sweetly singing all the blame. Mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strain. Gloria, in Chelsea's day. Yeah. Come on, clap your hands, come on. 
choose to exalt your name today this Christmas and we choose to say that glorious you are God you are worthy there is no one like you in all the earth and right now may your name be lifted up we glorify your name we glorify lift up our hands together to Jesus Jesus yours is the name that is above every other name we worship you you are our king you are our savior you are our redeemer without you 
we would be lost. But because you came, we have a brand new opportunity at life. You are the true life giver. And this Christmas, it is you that we worship because you are the reason for the season. No one else deserves our worship but you, Jesus. So here at Watoto Church, and in every nation and in every continent around the world, we choose to glorify and worship one name only. It is the beautiful name of Jesus. Let everybody shout Amen, Amen, and celebrate the Lord with a hand clap of praise this Christmas. Amazing. Well, would you help me turn to five people around you and tell them Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas once again. And then you may be seated. Wonderful. Wonderful. Merry Christmas, Watoto family. It's great to see every single one of you as we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I know that on this beautiful Christmas day, some of you are joining us for your very first time here in person online and on air. We want to start with you here in person. You're joining us for your very first time here at Watoto Church. You are our special guest today. And we want to celebrate you. So here's what I want you to do. Will you lift up your hand and wave at me if it is your very first time to worship Jesus with us here at Watoto Church? You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Come on, Watoto family. Let us give our guests a big clap here in person. Wonderful. If you're joining us online as well for your very first time or on air, you are our special guest. Thank you for joining us today here in person. One of our hosts is going to reach out to you to make you feel welcome. Online, there is a link that has just appeared in the chat section. Click it. Leave us your name and number. We want to call you and just thank you for joining us today. You're joining us on air. Send us a quick email. Connect at watodochurch.com. We would love to connect with you. If you have a home church, do take back our love and greetings. Let them know that Watodo Church loves them. But if you're looking for a place to call home, Watodo is not just an event that happens on the weekend. It is a family that we belong to and you are very welcome to join us here at Watoto. One more time, church. Let's clap our hands and make all of our guests feel welcome today. Beautiful. I want us right now to receive a special Christmas message from our team leaders, Pastors Julius and Vanita, who recorded this for you and your family just to share their hearts with you this Christmas. Will you turn to the screens now and just receive this Christmas message? Merry Christmas, Watoto family here in Uganda, in Juba, South Sudan, and all around the world. Merry Christmas indeed. Our prayer for you and your loved ones this Christmas season is that you will experience the unfailing God. That's right. As the angel appeared to Mary in Luke 137 and said, no word from God will ever fail. God spoke his word and he fulfilled it when he said he would send us a savior. And that savior is here with us today. Amen. Now you may be facing some situations that are overwhelming you and you're wondering what to do. Our encouragement is that you will hold on to the promises of God's word. For it's true, no word from God will ever fail. That's absolutely right. I was reading in Revelation 19 and John the Beloved had this beautiful picture of the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he was with an angel taking him around and he fell at the angel's feet to worship the angel. But here's what the angel said to John in Revelation 19, verse 10. See that you do not do that. I am your fellow servant and of your brethren who have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, the angel said, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. What does that mean? Jesus' birth that we celebrate was the fulfillment of prophecy hundreds of years before. That's the testimony of Jesus. When we look at the life of Jesus mm -hmm. and what he did, that testimony, the way he healed people, the way he touched the untouchable, 
That same Jesus, his works are a testimony and a spirit of prophecy, meaning what he did then, he can do now and he can do in your life. But Amen. the greatest testimony of all is that Jesus has been given a name that's above every other name. And whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's the testimony of Jesus. So this Christmas, celebrate that testimony. And from all of us at Watoto, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That's right. Merry Christmas. What a Christmas it is. It almost feels like we just celebrated Christmas last week. Uh, uh, God, the year has gone so quickly. But we're here breathing and living and still lifting up the name of Jesus. And I want to thank you for coming to church today. Those joining virtually, you're also absolutely Welcome. Now, how many of you have received Christmas gifts? Okay, if you haven't received any, this is the principle. Give and it will come back to you. So make sure, give somebody a gift and it will come back to you. But Christmas time is, is, is full of, one, lots of spending. Uh, yesterday, Christmas Eve is a zoo in the city here. My goodness, people are buying every chicken must go. It just feels like, wow. And then we buy lots of stuff and exchange gifts. and It's, it's amazing. It's a great time. But I want you to think about the greatest gift you've ever received. It may have been during Christmas or for your birthday or a special day, your graduation. I want you to think about that gift that was so special and in your mind is like, this is the best gift I've ever received. Now, I want to test your gift to see if it's really that incredible. First, Think about that gift. Did it offer a spiritual solution? <laughs> it may have done something for you, made you look great, maybe uh, made you look smarter, or gave you something that you enjoy, you ate, whatever it is. So it may have uh, achieved that. But let me also ask another question. Did that gift help sort of sort out your relationships that are not going great may have somehow. Well, I want to share with you today one of the special gifts that we can all receive at Christmas time. And it's not a gift that you can touch but it is one that when you experience, it makes all the difference. Whether you've received a gift this Christmas or not, this gift is available to us and is absolutely necessary today. And that is the gift of peace. The gift of peace. You see, in Luke chapter 2, we just read it. When the angels were doing the very first cantata, the song they sang, they said, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to man, to mankind, on whom his favor rests. Isaiah prophesied about the birth of Jesus in Isaiah 9. And here's what he said. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And then he begins to describe what the son's responsibilities are. The government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace and of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. So, my friends, 
The only way you can receive this gift of peace is through the Prince of Peace. He's the only one. And when we talk about peace, sometimes we think of the opposite of peace. And I was reading uh, the other day uh, how many active wars are happening on earth right now. And I think it was saying about 55 wars are going on. And, and when they describe war, they really mean wars that governments are engaged in. But there is more to that. Those are the only ones that maybe may make it to the media. Some of us only know a few. Okay? But there is more wars that happen in families that never get to be reported. There's another level of war that goes on. There is war that sometimes happens on the inside of us. And nobody knows. And whatever that kind of war is, there is only one who can bring true peace. His name is Jesus. That's why we celebrate his birth. Because his birth meant peace on earth. Jesus said in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Here's what Jesus is simply saying. The world has a certain kind of peace it offers us. But it is very temporary. It is very conditional. It depends on the things I have. It depends on who is around me. That's the kind of peace that the world gives. The world will try to offer you some level of peace when you're sleeping. You may have some security. Some of us have security. We have a razor wire. We have electric wires. We have dogs. We, have, we sleep with all those kinds of things. And they're trying to offer peace while you sleep. The world might think that the way to get peace is by having a lot of money and wealth. And so people acquire as much as they can, hoping they will have some level of peace. Today, Christmas Day, I mean, the parties have begun. In fact, they began on Friday. Bars are open and people are trying to get peace from a bottle. The only challenge is when they wake up and their eyes are all red and they are feeling beat, they need another bottle. Some of us are going to try to get peace today. We are going to eat like we've never eaten before. And then we shall try to relax in peace. But January is coming. The world tends to offer some peace. But Jesus says, my peace. The description of the peace is talking about in the Bible is shalom. It is a holistic kind of peace that is absolutely reliable. And there's three aspects of this peace that I want to talk about. Number one, Jesus came to give us peace with God. You see in the book of Romans chapter 4, it says this, and we're going up to the first two verses of chapter 5. Jesus was handed over to die because of our sins. And he was raised to life to make us right with God. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God. Because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look toward, forward to sharing God's glory, peace with God. Let me tell you about sin. Sin not only separates us from God. Sin will destroy our lives. But there's something else sin does. Sin makes us enemies of God. That's the worst place to be. 
But Jesus came to deal with the sin problem so that we no longer have to be enemies of God, but we can be friends of God and at peace with God. And let me tell you, my friends, when you're at peace with God, don't worry about Satan. God will fight for you. So peace with God. I love what Paul says in Colossians chapter 1. He says, once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. Jesus came to reconcile us back to God and restore peace with God. That's why we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Peace on earth. But secondly, I talked about another kind of war that happens that never makes it to the news, but you know it. It makes it to your mind, it makes it to your heart. And that is the war within. Nobody says it. And that war within can bring a, a lot of fear and anxiety. It troubles us. It robs us of sleep. It robs us of joy. And it's just that internal turmoil that goes on. I've got good news for you. The war within is over because the Prince of Peace has come to bring peace within our hearts and within our minds. As Jesus Oh, how things around us can go wrong. And then we begin to be affected on the inside. Today you can receive the gift of peace within through Jesus. I think of the story of uh, really a description of life. The disciples were on a journey on a boat. And Jesus was in the boat. That's what makes all the difference. And while they were on this journey, a storm came. And they tried to fix the storm by themselves. They did all the things they knew as fishermen do on the water. And at some point it was too much. Until they tapped the Prince of Peace. And said, Jesus, don't you care that we perish? And Jesus got up and said, Oh, ye of little faith, and no word from God will fail. Jesus said, Peace be still. And the storms came down. If he can do it for the storm outside, he can do it from the storm inside your heart. Peace. And this Christmas, you can receive this peace and be the most peaceful person. So Jesus came so he could give us peace within. What is robbing you of peace? Taking your mind away from Jesus. Distorting your heart. However smartly you dress on the inside, there's just a storm. Jesus has come so you may have peace. He said it, I read it already. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. He came to give us peace. Not as the world gives. Philippians 4, Paul says, do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And what happens? How does God respond? And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. In other words, God wants you to live in peace to the extent that the people around you will be blown away. You'll be the kind of person when the restructure is happening, you're so peaceful. Because you know who your actual CEO is. 
He's the one in charge of the universe. And you're at peace. Your contract may not have been signed. You're just at peace. Because you know who is with you and for you. He's the Prince of Peace. Peace within. Peace within. Jesus came so that you and I can live in absolute shalom from the inside. Worldly peace is from the outside in. Godly peace starts from the inside and spreads out. I believe Christians should be the most peaceful people on planet earth because of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Today you can experience that peace through Jesus. But finally, Jesus came so we could have peace with each other. Peace with each other. What a message of peace and reconciliation. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 14 to 16 says, For Christ himself has brought peace to us. He united Jews and Gentiles into one people when in his own body, on the cross, he broke down the wall of hostility that separated us. He did this by ending the system of law with its commandments and regulations. He made peace between Jews and Gentiles by creating in himself one new people from the two groups. Together as one body, Christ reconciled both groups to God by means of his death on the cross. And our hostility toward each other was put to death. Uh, there are some relationships that are absolutely fractured and strained in your life today. Could be husband and wife, hostility. Could be parents and children, hostility. It could be sibling rivalry. It might be at work. It may be business rivalry. No peace. And here in Uganda, we are so blessed. We are diverse. Different beautiful tribes created by God. But sometimes we have tribal tension. And the worst is when it gets into the politics. And there's political divide and tension. And we think that the solution to the peace problem and for us to live together is a political solution. No, the only solution is the one on who his shoulders rest the government. His name is the Prince of Peace. For to us a child is born, a son is given. And he will be known as the Prince of Peace. He's the only one who can make you love another tribe because you cease to just see your little tribe. You begin to see Christ in them. The image of God. Uganda, let's embrace the Prince of Peace if we are going to experience true peace. So we celebrate the great gift of peace. It comes through Jesus. Who reconciles us back to God. So we are no longer enemies of God. This peace comes from Jesus. Who makes sure inside our hearts and minds. He gives us peace that goes beyond human understanding. But Jesus came so we can have peace with one another. Let's celebrate the Prince of Peace. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's bow our heads and pray. I want to start by praying, especially for you if you're here today and you're saying, Pastor, there's no peace in my life. And it's because I'm far away from God. The sin in my life. Carry guilt and shame. And today I want to receive peace with God. I want to be forgiven. I want to be reconciled back to God. 
I want to become a child of God. I want to be his friend. I'd love to pray with you. In fact, without peace with God, peace with self is impossible. Peace with others is practically impossible. It starts with peace with God. So while our heads are bowed and eyes are closed, I'm saying, Pastor, please pray with me. Today, I want to receive the Prince of Peace in my life. I want to receive Jesus. Just lift your hand. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Just lift your hand and say, pray with me, pastor. Would you, I want to give my life to Jesus. Thank you. I see that hand. I see that hand. Lift that hand. I thank you upstairs. God bless you. A friend of mine is going to come to you right now. Just lift that hand a little higher. You're saying, pray with me. I want the Prince of Peace to come into my heart. Thank you, sir. Thank you, all of you upstairs. God bless you. If you raise your hand, I would love to pray with you. Repeat this simple prayer after me. In fact, everybody say, Dear Jesus, I thank you that you love me. Today, I ask you to forgive me of my sin and make me a child of God. I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that you're my Lord and my Savior. I receive you as my Prince of Peace. In your name I pray. Amen, amen. Let's celebrate our friends. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Just before I turn the service over back to Pastor Brian, I just wanna pray for you here. If really you're struggling with peace within and, and your relationships are fractured and you, you need some peace. You need the Prince of Peace to show up in your behalf. I want to pray with you. Let's just continue and pray if that's you. Father, I pray right now that even as we celebrate the birth of our Savior, we celebrate peace on earth. I pray for all your people who are struggling with peace within. They are struggling with anxiety and mental stress and emotional stress. Lord, whatever it is that has robbed their peace, Prince of Peace, would you give them back peace in their hearts? Guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Whether it is to do with something in the past, whether it's to do with something that's happening now, or a fear they have of the future, you are the Prince of Peace. Give them peace. I also pray for those whose relationships are fractured. And there's hostility. Husband, wife, children, siblings, workmates, business partners, whatever it is, neighbors, even tribal tensions and political tensions like we experience here and all around the world. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace. And we invite you to bring down the walls of hostility that exist and bring reconciliation. You are truly the only source of true peace. We thank you in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the Prince of Peace. Let us thank God for His Word. Let's give God a big hand clap of praise. He is the Prince of Peace. Let's also appreciate Pastor Julius for preaching God's Word today. Thank you, Pastor Julius. Amazing. So excited about everyone that has given their hearts to Jesus here in person and online and on air. Welcome to the family of God. You now have peace with God. And we want to get in touch with you. We want to help you grow to become a fully devoted follower of Jesus. Here in person, when you lifted up your hand to pray that prayer, a friend of mine reached out to you and handed you a little booklet. I want you to take that booklet, write your name in it, give that back to the usher. Keep the booklet for yourself because it's going to help you begin to read and understand the decision you've made as you begin to follow Jesus. Online, there is a link that appeared in the chat section. Click it. Your name and number are so important because we want to stay in touch with you and help you grow. On air, would you send us a quick email?
connect at watodochurch.com. Say, Watodo Church, I gave my life to Jesus today. We want to get in touch with you and help you grow in your relationship with Jesus. So excited for you. And Jesus, your best days are never behind you. They're always ahead of you. Watodo Church, one more time, let's clap and celebrate with heaven every miracle of salvation. We cannot wait to see you at the end of the service, just five minutes of your time. And now we're getting ready to give. Watodo Church, it is time for us to give. It is time for us to give. In the Christmas story, after Jesus is born, the Bible tells us there were wise men that came from the east, followed a star that settled up above the place where Jesus was resting and his parents, where they lived and they came. And when they came, they came to worship Jesus, just like we're gathered today. And they came bearing gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. These gifts were gifts to honor Jesus. And today I want us to get our offering. We're going to give it as a gift to honor Jesus this Christmas. I want you to dig deep in your pockets and prepare your tithes and offerings as you get ready to give. And I want you in your heart as you give to say thank you Jesus for all that you are and all that you have done for me and my family. Here's how we're going to give together the blue bags. That's where we're going to put our tithes and our offerings. There's an envelope for you. And the red bag is where we give to build God's house. We love planting campuses, expanding our capacity to reach people with the love of Jesus. There's an envelope for you to build God's house. We're still giving our miracle offering. Our target is 1.5 million US dollars. We're about 1.3. We're getting there. Thank you for your generosity. We're total family. There's an envelope for you to give your miracle offering as well. And as we give, there's also electronic giving options. You can reach out to one of our host ushers. They have a little card with details on how you can give electronically. You can also scan the QR code on the screen. And for those of us joining online and on air, there's a code at the bottom of the screen as well. You can scan that and get details on how you can give here in person there's a gift box in the foyer and also a point where you can swipe your card to give now just in case you missed any details for church family online and on air quickly watch this video it's going to point out to you how you can participate in this moment of generosity and in advance i want to thank you so much for your generosity and pray god's very best blessing upon you let's receive these giving instructions together Please take a moment to explore the various giving options available on our website, watotochurch.com forward slash giving. You can conveniently give through the website or by scanning the QR code displayed on your screen. For those who prefer mobile money, we have provided specific instructions and codes for various carriers. If you wish to give securely through Visa or MasterCard, debit or credit cards, that option is also available. You can also find details about other giving methods such as checks, bank transfers or agent banking on the same page. For those attending our 16 celebration points, we have secure gift boxes available for easy envelope drop-offs providing a convenient giving solution. If you're watching from Juba, South Sudan, we have tailored giving options including bank transfer, checks, agent banking, MTN Momopay and Mgurush. Thank you family for your faithfulness in contributing to the growth of God's kingdom. Your 
Amen. He truly is the unfailing God. Amen. Amen. There is no one like Jesus. I want to thank you and your family for joining us today for our Christmas Day service. And I want you to spend every day of your life celebrating Jesus. No one else deserves our worship. Only Jesus does. So thank you for joining us today in person, on air, online. And as we get ready to wrap up our service, just a couple of reminders of some key things that are happening at Watoto Church in this season, uh, specifically set aside for you and your family uh, to enjoy the season. And to let you know that um, next Sunday, everybody say next Sunday. Well, next Sunday, we're not going to be here. We're going to be celebrating Jesus in the community, in our cell families. We call it Super Cell Sunday. We do church a little differently on the last weekend of the year. And also, we get together in our small groups of Watoto Church members in the community. And if you don't belong to a cell family, you need to join one today. Uh, for those of you joining us online, click that link. It's going to give you options on cells that you can be a part of in your community. We also have cells internationally all around the world. For us here in person, stop by the table at the end of the service. We want to help you plug into one so that next Sunday you can celebrate Jesus. So the message will be from our team leader, special message as we round off the year. Uh, it will be on Power FM starting from 10 a.m and check out all the details on social media. It will also be on our YouTube channel as well. We cannot wait to celebrate Jesus with you next weekend in our cell families. And Pastor Brian, later that day on the 31st of December, we'll all be gathering here at Watoro Church downtown and some other select campuses for the all night yeah. sing. <laughs> you know, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I, I look forward to coming here. We will all gather. We will look at what God has done 2023 and give thanks to God. And we will look forward. To 2024 trusting God and transitioning into 2024 in the presence of God lifting up the name of Jesus here's what I want you to do invite a friend invite family come let's all gather in this place or any other select campus that you can find out information on on any of our social media platforms let us come into the presence of God I absolutely always look forward to starting a new year it's going to be trusting beautiful. God and looking forward to what God has for me it's going to be amazing cannot wait yeah. pack this place up and yeah. so we're looking forward to that and finally parents at the beginning of the year our teenagers always go away for a week just to spend time together calling on the name of Jesus at the morph camp we're believing God that this will be a life transforming moment for your teenager that's what we're believing God for a God encounter that will radically change their lives it starts on the 3rd of Jan all the way to the 9th of Jan details on our social media on our website as well make sure that you get those details and we're praying that your teenager that goes will not be the same teenager that returns so get those details talk to your campus pastor or your youth worker for details and now we're getting to wrap up our service on encourage you would you rise up to your feet what total family would you rise up to your feet in case you want to pray with somebody here in person walk through the doors our church family online and on air call the number that is on your screen we want to pray a blessing over you and your family will you lift up your hands as we pray together father as we're total family we are grateful for the gift of your son jesus and now, Lord, I pray that the blessing that comes from you, our Father in heaven, through your Son, Jesus Christ, walked in our lives by the power of the Holy Spirit, that it remain upon us in this season. I pray that we will know the peace of God that passes understanding, that will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. I'm praying that it shall be well with your people may this be a season of celebration as we look back and give thanks and look forward with expectation for all that you want to yeah. do in our lives we give you praise in jesus name let everybody say amen amen god bless you and merry christmas